Knocked. You okay? What did I? Where was that? What is it? A hole in the ground. Something burning. The meteor? You saw the disk of Corthus. Let's make our way back to Lestalem. Yeah, gotta report to Talcott. Another headache. This is not normal. No joke. Focus. Like you're having fun.
you kidding me? Damn, this place is hot. Just take your shirt off. Like you? No way. What, too embarrassed to show your scrawny body? Hey, I got muscle. You just can't see it. If you say so.
to ride my chocobo all day. <sighs> Can't get it out of my head! Prince Noctis! Welcome back! Your story came to a happy end. <laughs> well, well. We owe you, Talcott. You're welcome. We owe you, Talcott. You're welcome. Gah! You all right? He'll be fine, don't worry. But we ought to take a closer look at this so-called disc. Then look no further than the Outlook. We can use the viewer things. No substitute for being on site, but it would be a start. Let's see what we can glean of Nock's condition. Kindly. Kindly. Thank you. Power of kings wear you out? Kinda. I feel groggy when I wake up in the morning. You could try going to bed at a decent hour. Work tomorrow. Maybe we should call it a night. Mm -hmm. What a coincidence. I'm not so sure it is. Aren't nursery rhymes curious things? Like this one. From the deep, the Archean calls. Yet on deaf ears, the god's tongue falls. The king made to kneel in pain, he crawls. So how do we keep him on his feet? You need only heed the call. Visit the Archean and hear his plea. I can take you. We in? I don't know. We take a ride. But watch our backs. Fair enough. Let's do it. I'm not one to stand on ceremony, but such an occasion calls for an introduction. Please, call me Odd. Come with me to the car park. 
That's where I left my automobile. She's a dear old thing. Pales next to your regalia, but she's never let me down. So, we take two vehicles, a convoy of sorts, shall we? Where do you want to go? All set. Allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver. I choose you. All yours, Ignis. Come now, he always drives. Be a friend and let him rest for a change. You drive your car, and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off. Just to be clear, this isn't a race, it is a chase. You're not to pass me. Lose sight of me, and you'll lose your way. And no tailgating. An accident will spoil the trip. All right, all right. Set the road already. As you wish. Drive safely now. First Galden and then Lestalem. What a coincidence, huh? Way too convenient to be a coincidence. I reckon he's following us around. But to what end? That question bothers me deeply, as does his origin. It's hard for me to picture that guy in the Empire. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. I'd sooner not rely on him. But he may be our only way in to the Disk of Kothis. What's his highness's opinion of this, Arden? <sighs> Don't really have one. He's nothing more than a creepy old dude to me. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there. Well, that's why we came up with a plan. Gotta watch our backs the whole way.
knocked. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Wouldn't want to have one behind the wheel. Stop if you need to, all right? So, any havens along the way? Oh, somebody wants to camp. Somebody else wants a proper bed. Nice firm ground's much better for your back. Can't we at least make it a caravan? I don't get why you like camping so much. Under the stars, at one with nature. What's not to like? Now in the wild, there are no rules to follow. No checkout time. I dare say you had knocked with no checkout time. I'm all for extra sleep. Not saying it's easy, but I envy. What say we call it a day here? What say we continue on to Carthus? The Archeum's not going anywhere. Neither are we under your stewardship. So we make camp with Arden. Hell no. <sighs> Might as well get the tent up. Oh, I'm afraid I've never really been one for the outdoors. I shall foot the bill, so let us stay at the caravan over yonder. Ugh, I'm all sticky and gross. Woohoo! Bath time! Well, well, if it isn't yours truly. Uh, if you'd rather not be in photos? Oh, I don't mind at all. Snap away for His Highness's collection. Uh, what? of the youngest oracle in history. Is it hard giving blessings? It would be selfish of me to complain of my burden when so many suffer and wait. I hope they trust I will not rest until they are most solace. The world watched on with worry and wonder as the young girl grew. I understand you have a message for us. If you know of any who are bedridden or unable to come to me, pray, send word, and I shall go to them. I follow my calling. I will not halt my steps for anything else. In time, her strength would become an inspiration to all. What is your opinion of the treaty? When war has ended, so too will suffering subside. The treaty is a momentous step towards a brighter future. Let there be no doubt. We walk the path of true peace. I hope she's okay, wherever she's headed. Please, set your heart at rest. I shall do what I can to ease your suffering. Lady. Freya. Blessed stars of life and light. Deliver us from darkness blight. That is all I can do for now. But trust that relief will come in a matter of days. It's a miracle! Thank you, Lady Lunafreya. Lady Luna Freya, I left at dawn to come see you. You must be exhausted. A, a fair bit. 
but more grateful than anything. Let us begin at once. We should have done more, like taking her in. Damn right. She could have bunked at my place. Well, am I? I'm sure the missus would understand. Don't think being married will give you an excuse not to work out. That came out of nowhere. You can't just let yourself go with the eyes of the world on you. Uh, I don't know about that. He seems to have pulled it off so far. What does that mean? All the more reason he needs to clean up his act now. Feel sorry for Lady Luna Freya if he doesn't. <laughs> He's got you there, Noct. Everyone would be like, Oh, she could do so much better than him. What does the Oracle need the Prince for anyway? <sighs> Imagination run wild much? Good morning to you. <clears throat> what can I do for you? Come again. I should warn you, we're about to pass the point of no return. I trust you're not having any second thoughts. fragments found nearby. Pieces that broke off when the meteor fell. Almost fell, I should say. For the Archeon caught it. And he's still there, holding the thing up. Guess he never misses leg day. Or any day, for that matter. His unceasing toil and the meteor's might form the tenets of worship for the locals of Disguise. Makes you wonder what it's like, down there at his feet. So you know, it's hot where we're going. Will the camera fare all right? As long as I avoid open flames, it should be okay. I think. We don't have a spare if it breaks. Leave it in the car? Oh no, I'm taking it. Not every day you get up close and personal with the Archean. I kick myself if I miss the photo op. Spoken like a true photographer. As they say, better to try and fail than never to try at all. Look at you. Well, they say that, not me. Well, you just do what you gotta. Hey, Iggy. Can your glasses take the heat? Well, I don't see why they shouldn't. Even if they couldn't, he'd still be alright. Yeah, Iggy's eyes ain't that bad. Oh, really? Yeah, my vision is possible without corrective lenses. Then why not take them off sometimes? Well, uh... You don't get it, huh? Ignis likes his world to be crystal clear. Indeed. I've never been one for ambiguity. Ah. I think I'm getting the picture now. Hey, Ignis. How's it feel being away from the wheel? Positively frightening. What are you saying? 
that I'm no stranger to His Highness's driving habits. Appreciate the confidence. Read a book. It'll take your mind off it. I'd rather keep my eyes on the road for now, thank you. I guess nothing can take your mind off Knox driving. Will you? There not be a setup. Have I given you reason to doubt me? You don't really inspire confidence. Yeah, not very straightforward. Hello? It's me! Be so kind as to open up! Wow. That worked? I may not look like much, but I do have some influence. Aren't you glad we came together? Your audience with Divinity lies ahead. You're leaving? I drop you at the Archean's open door. And with that, bid you farewell. That one again. Whoa, a little harsh there, don't you think? Guy really knew his stuff about nursery rhymes. Yeah, nothing creepy about that. Keep going this way. Then we'll find out what the Empire's up to. These ruins. to find a royal tomb here. Would be a shame not to grab that power, eh, Highness? Let's grab it and go.
I got gotcha. you. Come on, pull yourself up. Ah. Thank heavens you're safe. Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Be careful now. You two. What? We're going where? Don't brush off on your own, huh? Don't get left behind. Wise guy. their feathers anymore um try shutting your beak just offering sound advice yeah like a parrot in my ear either. Make it quick. Just want this to be over.
sense his welcome. Hate to see how he treats intruders. You wanna talk? So do I. Glad the feeling's mutual. Let's move. Walking. And I'm sick of your endless whining. Calm the hell down. Get off my back. Are you a man of royal blood, or aren't you? <laughs> of course I am. I couldn't forget it if I tried. What about it? I ain't saying that you've forgotten, but you gotta know something. You're not the only one who's having a tough time. We're all on edge. We, Amicidia, are the King's sworn shields. Guard the King with our lives. That's the way it's always been. I've embraced my duty. And I take pride in it. When you can't focus, I focus for you. It's my job, so let me do it, all right? All right. ahead on your own. Hey, Gladio. Your dad, I, I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Mm -hmm. Isn't that your phone? Ignis. You're safe. Good. Listen, Imperial troops are here. But it sounds like we're about to have Imperial company. It's about to get even hotter in here. Yeah! <laughs> 
I'm here! it you want quit screwing with my head you gotta be kidding me
y'all still here? Yep, still here. If a little battered. Does this mean it's over? Ah, what? What is it now? What is he doing? He's winding up! For the big one! Oh, thank the gods I found you, boys. And what will you do with us now? Why, grant you safe passage, just as I say. Pretty generous offer for an Imperial. Calm now. Is it fair to begrudge a man the circumstances of his birth? Well, no. I guess not. So, what do we do after he drops us off? Go get the car. 
can't leave her unattended for long. Chancellor, if you truly wish to aid us in our efforts, then I request you release us this instant. This instant? It's a long way down. Perhaps the army could break your fall. Or perhaps you could simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You needn't worry. You're in good hands with me. Here's hoping you find that car of yours. High Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. Frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archeans who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we despair. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra! Someone's sending us a message. What do we do? Follow it! <laughs> She's a messenger, a spirit, faithful to the Oracle. Uh, for real? <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal. Let Luna know I'm okay, and she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. 
If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait, so my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the king of light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen. Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king is the Oracle's calling. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Unto the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth it strikes, the storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Lady Lunafreya has done well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Kaim may serve us now as it did them then. The hidden harbor. <laughs> Just my work. I'll have Iris set it up. So, in the meantime, we head into the storm. Another day, another deity. Huh. Weapons? We got lots of them. Pleasure doing business. I'll see you later.